The HTC One gets an official pre-order and launch date on AT&T. The Samsung Galaxy Mega Phablets get rumored, and the next iPhones were a product of Steve Jobs. I'm Jaime Rivera, and stop looking at me funny, it was a great game and a good tie. This is Parker Now Daily. Let's start today off talking about HTC as the company has made it official you can pre-order the HTC One on April 4th and then get the device on stores on April 19th. Sprint is doing pretty much the same thing only a day later for pre-orders. You could do it on AT&T for $200 after a two-year contract for the 32 gig model and then it's an AT&T exclusive. The 64 gig model is for $300 after a two-year contract. If you pre-order on AT&T, you will get the HTC Media Link HD. And there are rumors that on Radio Shack, if you pre-order on April 4th or whenever Radio Shack is going to do this, you will get a free $50 Google Play Store gift card, which is great. So pre-order away. And continuing on with HTC, there are the first leak renders of the HTC First. And it's not first anything. That's the name of the phone. I can't understand where they come up with these names, but the point being is that if you look at the interesting capacitive buttons at the bottom, this device does not look like Android or Windows Phone. Or it could be Android, and this is probably the Facebook phone. So April 4th, I mean, you never know. And then let's move over to Windows, as yesterday's rumors talked about Windows Blue being Windows RT merging with Windows 8. And now we've got rumors that Windows Blue will be called Windows 8.1, as apparently the changes to this Blue update will just be enhancements and not really a newer version of Windows. It makes all the sense in the world. There's really nothing wrong with Windows 8 Pro, just Windows RT. So hopefully they will bring some better enhancements and Windows Blue will not be released two years from now. Now let's talk about iPhone. The district attorney recently contacted Apple because, well, there's so much iPhone theft out there that they wanted to implement a sort of kill switch for the iPhone and future devices. But interesting, the government liaison from Apple responds that sadly they cannot make any of these changes because the next two generations of the iPhone were designed at the Steve Jobs era. So just think about it. The future iPhones are already made now, meaning uh, are we getting new technology? And finally, for the interesting news of the day, you know how much we've debated over the fact that we don't know if the Galaxy Note 3 will have a 5.9 inch display or a 6.3 inch display, but wait no more. Apparently, this is not the Galaxy Note 3. Apparently, there is a new lineup of Galaxy Mega devices where you get a Galaxy Mega 5.8, which is a 5.8 inch display, and then a Galaxy Mega 6.3, which is a 6.3 inch display. And then it begs to wonder if we are getting a Galaxy Note 3 and not a Galaxy Mega, where if we're getting two dual sort of lineups. But anyways, that leads me to the question of the day. How big is too big for you when it comes to smartphones? And before you come to me with those, that's what she said jokes. Well, in my particular case, uh, five inches on a display is pretty much the best for me. I feel that that's not too big, not too small, but leave us a comment down below. Do you really think that that 6.3 inch display Galaxy Mega holds any water? And of course, if you want an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tablet world, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera, and as always, thank you very much for watching. See you tomorrow.